Parashat Toledot, Aliyat Hamishi. Aliyat Hamishi essentially begins the rest of the story in this parasha and will lay the foundation for much of what happens over the course of the next few parashiot. Initially, the Aliyah tells us that Esav gets married. He marries two women, neither of whom follow in the values of Yitzchak and Ibkah, his family, and they are upset. The Aliyah then proceeds to tell us that Yitzchak and Ibkah get old, but Yitzchak is blind. He calls Esav, he says, I want to give you beracha. But before I do that, I want you to go hunt fresh game, prepare for me my meal as I like it, and in that I will give you a beracha. Rivka overhears the conversation. Rivka shomat b'daber Yitzchak el Esav beno v'yelech Esav hasadeh latzun sayid lahavi. Rivka overhears the conversation and Esav leaves. Rivka assesses the situation. She calls in, in her son Yitzchak, her son Yaakov, and she says, Yaakov, we need to change the trajectory of what's about to happen because your father wants to give the beracha to Esav to give him essentially the line moving forward. The plan is. Rivka is going to prepare the meal for Yitzchak that he is expecting. Yaakov is going to dress up like Esav and go into his father and pose as Esav so he can get the berachot initially intended for Yitzchak to give to Esav. And as you read the story, you can see, first of all, that Yaakov is nervous. How are we going to do this? My brother is very hairy. I'm very smooth. Maybe my father is going to touch me. I'm going to be dishonest in his eyes. He's going to curse me. He's nervous. And as you continue to read the Aliyah, you see that coming through. On the other side of the table, Yitzchak, once Yaakov comes in, Yitzchak senses that something is strange. Come, I want to touch you. Are you my son, Esav, or not? Famous pasuk. Yaakov goes to Yitzchak, his father, and he touches him. The voice is the voice of Yaakov in that he kept saying, Baruch Hashem, I got, the, I got the game, I was able to hunt quickly, Hashem blessed me. Sounds like my son Yaakov, but feels like my son Esav. And it continues in that vein, in that Yitzchak, as you read the Pesukim, seems to sense that it's not Esav, but nonetheless, he prepares to give the son in front of him, who was Yaakov the Beracha, as the Aliyah ends, he, he comes close, he kisses him, Yitzchak smells the smell on his clothing, and gives him a Beracha, you smell like the field, Yani. it's Esav, you went out, you got the game, and you are here, and I'm going to give you the Beracha, and that's where the Aliyah ends, and Aliyah Shishi, is going to tell us the famous beracha that Yaakov receives from his father Yitzchak standing in Esav's place.